I'm Arlen Geyer. One of the important uses of metadata in your digital image files is your copyright information. And although I'm no lawyer and I have no idea what would be the best information to include, I will tell you what I include and uh, how to go about doing it. So the first thing you want to do is to go to import and then on the right side there is some place that says apply during import and one of the options is metadata. So I'm going to show you what my data metadata uh, looks like. I have a uh, preset here called basic copyright and for various years. So we go to this year and uh, then I'm going to um, edit the preset so I can show you what it looks like. So we seem to have nothing here. All right, let me go to my basic copyright 2011 and starts off with basic info, copy name, label, caption, nothing there, nothing in the next one. And then we have IPTC copyright and mine says copyright 2011 RL Geyer. The way you create a copyright symbol on a PC is hold down the, let me just make sure I'm doing this right, so I'm going to move over here and create another one. Hold down the, um, the Alt key and on the numeric keypad, this is important, it has to be the numeric keypad, uh, type 0169 and then when you release the Alt key, hopefully you get a copyright symbol. So uh, copyright 2011 and your name and then copyright status, this is important, make sure it says that it is copyrighted. And then uh, under uh, rights usage terms, what I have said, and as I said, I am not a lawyer and I do not know what would be appropriate here, but what I say is written permission required for any promotional or commercial use or publication in any medium. Uh, now, of course, putting on the internet is a is a publication in a medium. Uh, so, for example, technically, if someone posted one of my images on their Facebook page, that would be a violation of my copyright. And you may or not, may not want to be that strict about it. It's up to you. Uh, and I suggest that you talk to a copyright lawyer about exactly what would be appropriate there. The other thing that's important is that you need people to be able to get in touch with you. So under IPTC Creator, I have my name and I don't uh, want to give my address here, but I do say what my telephone number is and what my email address is. And I have my website. Uh, so that way someone can get in touch with me if they want to get permission to use this image. And uh, other information there, I leave all blank on my basic copyright uh, template. And then when you're finished with that, um, you want to save this as a new uh, new preset. So save current settings as new preset and it'll prompt you for a name. Uh, mine, as I say, is called Basic Copyright 2011. Be sure at the end of the year that you uh, do a new one for the following year. I don't know whether it's possible to specify, to insert a character in here that would uh, allow it to insert the current year, whatever year that is. I, if there is a way, I don't know it. And so then you click Done and you are all set. I'm just going to cancel it because I have already this already. Then you just want to make sure that in the uh, in your apply during import you have that preset uh, selected, and then you click your import and you're ready to go. That's it. Hope this was helpful.